Hi, welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we will be covering PC cleaning. I promised you guys lots of cool content for that LCD in the back and uh, as you can see we are starting to deliver on that now with, uh, well, a picture of me, but at any rate, well, <laughs> let's get going. So today PC cleaning, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to dust out the inside of your computer. All you need to clean the inside of your computer, which protects it from dust, which protects it from potentially shorting out electrical circuits on your motherboard or any other important components, you need a screwdriver, you need a can of compressed air. So once you've got a safe work area and you've got the side panel off the PC, we're just going to talk a little bit about what parts of the computer you want to blow the dust off of. So first we'll need our handy can of compressed air, which I conveniently have right here. Now you're going to focus on things that produce heat and things that have exposed circuitry. So things like the back of a video card. We've got a lot of dust build up here and it's really important to get rid of that because dust, depending on what's in it, can potentially cause a short which is, means that it would cause like a spark and could definitely damage that video card, especially over time and especially if you get enough dust build on it. That's why maintenance is key. You want to keep dust off the inside of your computer entirely. Now, things that generate heat. You want to make sure you get the chipset heatsink as well as the CPU heatsink. You also want to blow as much dust as you can out of the power supply. You can also just generally remove dust from the computer. This is something I do recommend. Just taking it out of the bottom of the case and off the top of your hard drive. Keep things clean. It's going to last a lot, a lot longer. Of particular importance, actually, I should definitely say, is the CPU heatsink. Because you can see here, if I could just get you to zoom in, there's actually dust caking up between the fins of the heatsink. You can see as I spin the fan that it is blocking air from the fan from even getting at the heatsink. So that means your CPU is running a lot hotter than it has to. We're going to blow that dust out. We're going to make sure that things are running cool. They're running good. Now I talked a little bit before about selecting a suitable workspace for this kind of thing and uh, depending on just how dusty your computer is, you might want to take the whole job right outside. So. As you can see, I have a mic now. We had a lot of people complaining about the audio in our show, so it uh, should be better now. Okay, so here we go. First thing we're going to do is the CPU heatsink. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> okay, cut the camera for a second. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're back now. Um, we just had to wait for the for the dust cloud to clear a little bit, but um, usually the CPU heatsink is the worst part. Now, the next thing we're going to do is the back of the video card. This shouldn't be nearly as bad. Now, as you can see, I'm using the spray can only in bursts, so you never want to just like lean on it for a minute. You're going to waste a lot of the fluid inside that way. So we're going to do the back of the hard drive here. Blowing the dust bunnies out of these things. Just do the RAM, the uh, chipset heatsink, the other one. Okay, we're also going to do the power supply from both the back and from the inside. So we're going to blow it out from back here so you can see the dust coming out inside the computer there. And then we're going to blow from the inside and blow stuff out the back. So ah, I'm just going to go like this. Oh, we're losing pressure. Okay, so we're going to have to take a quick break, let the can warm up, and then we will get more pressure out of our can. I've gone and used it too much in one go here. Five minutes, let this thing warm up a little bit. Now it's uh, got a lot more pressure. So we're going to go ahead and blow out the bottom of the case. Oh, that's, uh, that one's pretty good. Now, if you don't feel like putting your project on hold to wait for the can to warm up, you could always use the uh, good old fashioned dust blower your lungs. Um, yeah, it's only like eight bucks for one of these, so just invest in one. So, once you've got all the dust cleared out of all the nicks and crannies on your motherboard, on your video card, around your CPU, we can take it back inside and uh, put the panel back on. So just a quick recap of what we were able to do with just a can of compressed air and my trusty screwdriver. Um, I don't know if YouTube is going to be uh, 
able to show how much the difference inside this case is, but it is tremendous. Um, just do a quick zoom in the way we did before of the, uh, the CPU fan, the chipset fan, the video card, and the bottom of the case, and uh, especially the back of the video card. I mean, it was looking kind of gray. Now it's a very vibrant red. It looks much better. It's much cleaner, and your computer's going to be more reliable and run cooler overall. So the last thing left to do is uh, put the side panel back on our case here. Just like that, put the two screws back in the side panel. And we're done. PC maintenance can be that simple. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips. Yeah, so uh, we weren't quite done yet. One thing we forgot to mention was um, you may also want to consider blowing out the fan on your video card. So if I could just get the camera zoomed into the video card here. And we're just going to show that you should also blow out the heat sink there. And now it's going to be totally dusty in the room where we do our recording. But that's okay. Because now, thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips.